right, so let's jump into the big one. Did Stuart Haas manipulate the race? Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing good today. All right, video number two. And I forgot to mention in the first video, the reason I'm wearing this Dale Jr. Sundrop t-shirt is because it's his birthday. So happy birthday to Dale Jr. Trying to get some positivity at the beginning of these videos because, well, these are going to be some some sort of, sort of negative videos, uh, sort of drama-ish type videos. But anyway, let's get into it. All right, Cole Custer dropped back several positions, held up some cars to help Chase Briscoe. And a lot of people have been saying that that is race manipulation. We do have something to go off of from the past 2013, the Michael Waltrip race manipulation situation. So let's take a look at what happened back then and what was said about a situation like this back then. This article from the Bleacher Report. You guys remember the Bleacher Report, don't you? All right, anyway. NASCAR fine. Michael Waltrip racing a record $300,000 suspended team general manager Ty Norris indefinitely docked driver Clint Boyer 50 driver points prior to the points being reset for the chase for the Sprint Cup and also docked driver Brian Vickers 50 points in the standings. But perhaps the biggest penalty was the ejection of driver Martin Truex Jr. from the chase. He will be replaced in the 12 driver playoff field by Stuart Haas racing driver Ryan Newman. In addition, Michael Waltrip racing crew chiefs Brian Patty for uh, Clint Boyer, Scott Miller for Vickers, and Chad Johnston for Truex were placed on probation for the rest of the year. NASCAR president Mike Hilton released a statement via ESPN stating, We penalize to not have this happen again. It's a message from the league saying, You can't do this. And it went on to say, after numerous driver complaints through the media, fan gripes on social media, outlets like Twitter and Facebook, as well as public questioning and criticism by several media outlets and cited radio communications within the Michael Waltrip Racing team that appeared to indicate subterfuge, NASCAR officials were forced to reconsider their initial stance on Saturday's race that nothing was amiss. Okay, so there you have it. That is how a situation like this was handled back then. There was a $300,000 fine. Ty Norris, the, basically the team president, was suspended. All of the drivers got points penalties. All of the drivers got fined. Martin Truex was removed from the playoffs. And they did this because they listened to the radio communication. And when they listened to the radio communication, it was found out that... It was obviously blatantly race manipulation, and basically they were caught doing it. So, also interesting of note, uh, Stuart Haas was the team that benefited from it because Ryan Newman, you know, was the, was the guy that was going to go into the playoffs there. So, interestingly enough, Stuart Haas was involved in that one. Now, on to this one that Stuart Haas is involved in. As of right now, they are invest as of me making this video, they are invest investigating Stuart Haas racing the radio communications back and forth to Cole Custer. I am hearing that they have found some radio communications that they were basically telling Cole Custer exactly what to do. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I'm hearing. But if that is true, if that is true, then by letter of the law, by definition, this would be a very similar situation. But we've already seen NASCAR come out and say that if they penalize, it will not affect the final eight. So let's take a look at what NASCAR had to say about it already. Per Bob Pogress, NASCAR is reviewing data, video, and radio transmissions from the 41 car following its incident on the backstretch during the final lap. NASCAR will communicate the results of the review early this week. Any potential penalties would not affect the round of eight field. So there you have it, by letter of the law, if they are caught with the radio communications, I think this is the exact same situation. However, where I think this one differs is, as I mentioned in the earlier video, Chase Briscoe had the tiebreaker at the moment that this started going on. Chase Briscoe was already at least tied with Kyle Larson. So I don't think it actually would have affected the outcome, and this is coming from the biggest Kyle Larson fan that there is. I don't think it would have out affected the outcome of the round of eight that being said, they did, you know, it was a penalty technically. Like if you go, if you look at it, not even technically, it is a penalty if they manipulated the race. So you do have to find them and stuff like that. That being said, me personally, I don't think they should put Kyle Larson into the playoffs. And here's why there's already, 
so much, and this is just my personal opinion, like, letter of the law, they should take, you know, if, if according to how they handled the last situation, they should take Briscoe out of the playoffs and put Larson in, letter of the law. But in my opinion, they shouldn't do it because he didn't need that help. He was going to be in without that help anyway. So maybe find Stuart Haas racing, but don't put a Hendrick car in just personally because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all the Hendrick hate. There's been enough Hendrick hate this, this week because of the uh, Byron situation, which is really just a NASCAR gaffe. So hopefully they don't put Kyle Larson in personally because I just don't want to hear it. I'm tired of hearing about it. And I think it wouldn't have affected it anyway because, like I said, Briscoe had the tiebreaker. At best, they were going to be tied and the tiebreaker was going to go to Briscoe. So I don't think it would have affected the round of eight. So... I think there should be a penalty handed down, maybe a big fine or something like that. And maybe next year they start uh, Daytona 100 points behind the eight ball or something like that. But for, for the playoffs, I don't think it really, in all honesty, would have affected the playoffs. But that's just my take on it. Let me know down below. I know this is probably not going to be a super popular opinion. Uh, but whatever, that's just what I think about it. I got to be uh, honest and real about it. So let me know down below what you thought about it. Uh, at the end of the day, I thought it was just sort of crappy racing. Uh, just sort of crappy, just, just race the race, but it is what it is. Let me know down below what you think about it. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe. All your subscriptions mean a lot to the channel, and I really appreciate them. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace. I got two more videos coming. It's going to be a, possibly a four-video day, so hang in there. They're coming.